I like to pass myself off as anti-consumerist, but you know, I get so much joy from using things like particularly beauty products. I, I don't think that's a fair description of myself. <laughs> Welcome, welcome back to Self Care Karen. This channel is all about my self care journey, including my addiction to beauty products. And yes, I get to indulge that addiction even more um, because I have this channel. So I'm constantly buying <laughs> beauty products to try out and then, you know, share my thoughts with you. So uh, yes, self care is. Uh, a wide uh, term, a broad term if you like. Anyway, my apologies if there's some background noise. I've come to the conclusion <clears throat> there is no good time to film here because they're cutting the grass now. It is school holidays, at least that, but they're cutting the grass. There might be some background noise. Um, I did think maybe I should film in the middle of the night, but then, you know, you've got the foxes doing chucka chucka. So, uh, I don't know, no good time, which is somewhat ironic considering <laughs> My slogan is your imperfect time. But anyway, okay, let's get into it. I've got a whole set of empties um, for you. Um, and yeah, really excited to share my thoughts with you. In no particular order, I'm going to start off with this eye cream from Up Circle. Sorry, the light's probably making that a bit difficult to see. This was in the Holland and Barrett advent calendar for last year. And basically, it smells like coffee grounds i think that's what you call them um i didn't like this at all there's actually loads left in there but um it doesn't come out anymore and you know what i didn't like it anyway so i'm not even gonna you know push it to try and see if i can i mean probably by opening it up i could get more out but yeah life's too short um this is the second product that i've used from up circle basically they're repurposing coffee um which i think is a really noble idea but i don't I, I actually really do like the smell of coffee but i don't like the smell of coffee grounds so coffee that's been used you know the, the ground up coffee that you've then put boiling water over and whatever um and i didn't like this uh cream i, I actually think it uh caused um a kind of uh milia uh on the side of the eye that's now gone but yeah, I, I'm not impressed. So that's a shame. Um, I won't be purchasing anything from this brand, but I probably will get the Holland and Barrett advent calendar again. And I guess this will feature. So we'll see what we'll have um, coming up in next year. OK, I have this Boots Sultan Cream 30 SPF. It's kind of worn off a bit. Um, I bought this basically for when we were going to Chicago um, just so that I ding dong ding. This is a public service announcement. Please don't miss out on this great offer. You can get 50% off your purchases at selfcarekaren.etsy.com by becoming a member of the SCK tribe. As a member, you'll get Self Care Karen news, inspirational messages and special offers. And when you sign up, you'll have access to a free meditation script, a minute of mindfulness. Look at the video description for more details. Ding dong ding. I could have something in my handbag. Um, and yeah, really, really nice on. Very lightweight, sinks in really well. Um, so basically I was targeting my face and my uh, chest area and the back of my neck always catches the sun. So that those were the areas that were exposed and that I was putting it on. And it, yeah, this was great. I would repurchase, but I've actually got um, a couple of SPF boosters on the go at the moment. And um, I want to use those up because basically it's the same thing, just in oil form. So I'm not going to be uh, replacing this one. OK, um, this is from the Superdrug Me Plus range. It's their BHA toner. It's got 2% salicylic acid in it. I have reviewed this in a um, video. I, I, I've done actually two in-depth videos about the skincare range and then I've got hair care and body care. They might be live, they might not be, but they're coming if you haven't seen them already. I'm also going to be doing lip care. Love, love, love this range. Actually really love this toner. I've got a whole playlist with these videos, so I'll just link 
I think it's up there. I'll link the playlist up there so you can watch those at your leisure. Okay, pronouncing it in the American way. Okay, um, I got this also in an advent. This is the Champneys Moisturising Face Mask. And my skin was feeling really delicate recently after <laughs> experimenting on it. And you know what? You can still smell it. This sheet mask, I mean, it's probably even, I could probably wet it and use it again. It's, no, maybe that's a bit, it's not been in, oh no, it's got stains on it now. Blah. But um, I really, really like this. It You actually hook it on, so you hook it onto your ears, and then this goes under the chin, and you hook that up to the ears as well. I should have taken a photo with it on. But um, yeah, really, really soothing, moisturising. I'm not a massive fan of sheet masks, as you'll know if you've watched any of my face mask um, videos and I'll, I'll link one up here so you can take a look. I'm not a massive fan because you know I feel like you don't get much out of them although I generally always get two. I use it once, put it in the fridge and then you know a few days later use it again um, but this one was really nice and I guess it's quite practical if you're on the go like if you're on a plane or something and you want to have a, you want to use a face mask because you don't have to wash it off, you just, you know, rub in the serum after. So yeah, I really like this Champneys one. And I was lucky, you know, so lucky a few years ago, I actually went on a New Year's, it was like four nights or something, to a Champneys spa in, uh, well, somewhere in the countryside, I can't quite remember, in the English countryside, I can't remember where it was. Uh, for yoga uh, well it was actually it, it was kind of like yoga but with Feldenkrais I don't know if you've I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly but it's kind of that Feldenkrais is like a movement thing it's a bit similar to yoga but it's just a another alternative therapy I swear that was one of the best new years I've ever had because apart from doing you know like two sessions a day of of the yoga slash Feldenkrais I just Oh my God, I it just had so many spa treatments. It was amazing. And they had a um, a pool, I think it's called a hydrotherapy pool or something like that, that's like salt water with lots and lots of jets. Oh my God, amazing, amazing. Must go back there one day. Okay, so uh, what else I've got to share with you? I have got this shampoo and this conditioner from Boots Ingredients love them i'm going to put the link to the video where i review these and um one other hair care product from this range um yeah i won't say any more watch the video but yeah really impressed okay i got this in my in my uh, stocking from father christmas so it's taken me a while to use it up bondi sands admittedly I probably didn't open it up until March time because I had a different body scrub on the go and I tried to only for certain items only have one open at any given time so this is coconut and sea salt body scrub tropical rum scent oil free Australian made self tan friendly I don't Bondi Sands is a self tan range I don't like self tan I don't use self tan the smell is always bad on me even with the ones that say they don't smell bad they always smell well hate the smell help hate the smell and then I, I i look like an oompa loompa anyway but where did i read about this that it's actually i mean it feels like you're scrubbing sand on your skin like from the beach and i really do not like that sensation and this was really difficult to wash off so thank you um father christmas but yeah this one really didn't work out for me also didn't really like the smell coconut yeah a mild but mixed yeah sea salt maybe that's the it's kind of like um a sweet and mm, not sour but kind of mildewy smell at the same time i don't know does mildew smell anyway yeah not a fan not a fan won't be repurchasing okay as i mentioned was in chicago recently went for the very first time to Ulta beauty which was like a rite of passage really great experience um i bought this hand wash <clears throat> which is Ulta beauty's own brand soft cotton scented gel hand wash actually i quite like the smell although it, it's very, um, it's not, it's very faint. That's probably the, the right expression. But something happened when I, about a third of the way through with this nozzle. 
and basically you'd squirt it aiming your, at your hands and it would go all over your clothes. So <laughs> what I did, uh, it took me a while to figure this out. I, I, I was stubborn, I left it, you know, by the basin and then I, I had a guest around and I had to explain, be careful when you wash your hands kind of thing because I didn't want her to spoil her clothes. And then I thought, why am I persevering with this? So I used it up as a shower gel and it was fine. <laughs> in fact, my son really enjoyed using this in his bath as well. But yeah, I don't know what happened, a faulty nozzle um, there. But it does, it does make me think that I really do like kind of cotton linen smells um yeah really really and it's hard to get good ones so anyway another face mask to mention sorry got hair in my mouth okay and i will put up a photo or my lovely video editor will put up a photo of me with this face mask on but this is again from the holland and barrett um advent calendar this is evolve organic beauty bio retinol gold mask and you can probably see in there, it really is gold. You can see on the photo, it really is gold. It smells of bubble gum. Um, you know, like, like you'd have like that really sweet bubble gum that you would have a, as a kid. Um, I, you know, I used it up, but I really, it was drying. Um, I guess the retinol might have done that. I don't know. I didn't, you didn't get any tingling from it, but... I just did not feel that this did anything apart from dry my skin out. So, um, yeah, a bit of a disappointment there. It's 100% natural and 85.1% organic. And you just leave it on for five minutes. So I like that aspect of it. But, yeah, it just, I don't know what it was supposed to do, but it didn't do it. I didn't suddenly look 10 years younger or anything. Okay, just two more items to share with you. Um, I have... Um, used up another one of these. I think that was the last one I had in my stash. I did a whole video reviewing. I've actually done two videos reviewing this hair dye. I will link to one of those reviews up here so you can take a look. Um, this is the Umberto Giannini Flowerology Naturally Kinder 95% Natural um, Hair Dye in Chestnut Brown. I've tried various colours with this. I think this is probably my most success successful colour but yeah um watch the video find out what i really think about this and then finally my lovely sister-in-law um got this in uh ulta beauty is oh no not ulta beauty where did she get it from cvs or something when we were in chicago no not see can't be cvs maybe i don't know where she got it from anyway this is the renowned infamous famous you know, cult product from Sol Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. And I love it for its name. And she used most of it up and then gave me what was left. And I used it once. And then I'm going to give this back to her. I just wanted to share this with you. There's a little bit of scraping left. Oh my God. It doesn't actually smell that bad in the pot. But I think the cream has a chemical reaction with my skin. And I've mentioned this on my mum's net, or, or not my mum's net thread, but on the thread I'm on in mum's net for beauty addicts. And I've mentioned this smell that lingers all day long and you kind of get waves of it. And it just smells like, I don't know, off milk. It's really unpleasant. And some people get it with this cream and some people don't. So I think it is a kind of chemical reaction. Uh, so I can't really tell you if the actual cream is any good because I can't cannot stand using it I'm not going to use it going to give this back to my sister-in-law um, Yeah, but apparently it's supposed to do amazing things to your bum 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 So another empties video completed. Thank you for watching very much Please remember I upload every Friday with a beauty video and every Monday with a meditation slash self-care. I'm just about to launch a new series I'm so excited about. So come back for that. And please remember, you are in perfect time. See you soon. Take care.